How do, folks? My words, my opinion. Now, I'm not putting this out there. It's, it's Saturday. I just got back, you know, uh, had to go do some shopping. But before that, when it was nice and cool and beautiful, because we got some great rain out here yesterday, hitting on them trails, got a good long ride in, taking some air, not ending up in the ER, because <laughs> we don't have Uber, we don't have Lyft, and Lori's already told me. Two is the maximum time she picks me up at the ER. So we're done on that ride. <laughs> and it was beautiful today. So I'm getting out there, ripping and cutting loose and following my own advice. My words, my opinion. Now I'm kicked back here, listening to music, looking at YouTube, and I'm watching Tommy Shaw, Fooling Yourself. And he's with the Cleveland-based Contemporary Youth Orchestra. And I tell you, it's phenomenal and tragic for me, okay? I was never a Styx fan, even though I grew up in Chicago, until I saw them play at Red Rocks. Outstanding show, so much energy, great music. No, Tommy Shaw was not there, unfortunately. And then after them, Earth, Wind and & Fire, and they were unbelievable. If you're ever in Denver, if you're going to Denver, if you're thinking about going to Denver, Check Red Rocks and see if who's playing, because I tell you, it's a great venue. But, <clears throat> so I was listening to Tommy Shaw and the Cleveland Blaze Bass Contemporary Youth Orchestra on YouTube, and I recommend you check it out. It was June 19th, 2018, and the guy's voice is just so crystal clear. But, it's an angry young man. And as I listen to the lyrics and Tommy Shaw singing this, all I see is a is my son, Tim Pool. I hear the words. Listen to the words, really, folks. I you don't have to be a Styx fan <laughs> to enjoy it. Like I say, check it out. It was June 19, 2018, Tommy Shaw with the Cleveland-based Contemporary Youth Orchestra. And I see my son. I see him growing up. Seemed to have a lot of, I don't know, empathy for the world or whatnot. Wanting to bring, you know, information out. Well, he, him and his brother started videotaping their skateboarding. And that's where they got into it. And then, you know, Tim was fortunate enough to be at uh, Occupy Wall Street when they shut down the reporters. And he was smart enough to live stream it and that's where he started great businessman i'm not happy of the product but why don't you listen to it tommy shaw and think of it from a father's perspective a marine a firefighter national parks worker who I'm not the most altruistic, generous, charitable person out there, but my life has been given back to the people in this country. Take a listen, folks. I don't want to bore you with my talking, okay? But when I listen to it, see, I think Tim's got the possibility, instead of producing what he does, I think he could bring together people necessary to solve problems to bring an open venue to people to come and discuss our problems, to call out politicians when they become our problems. But I don't see this, this, this superpower, basically, I see that Tim possesses that isn't being used. Not the way I would use it, but it's his. He can use it as he sees. Listen to the song and try to have empathy from a father's perspective. My words, my opinion. Thank you, people.